Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to bring you this video today because my husband and I completely redid our master bedroom. We didn't spend a lot of money. We only changed out a few things, but it's made a huge difference. I can't wait to show you the tips and tricks that I've learned along the way for taking your space from something that is cluttered and frustrating and not a joy to be in to a space that is calm and quiet and a place that you will like to come to and rest in the new year. So if if you'd like to see those tips and figure out how we took our bedroom from cluttered and crazy to calm and cozy, then just keep watching. So the first tip that I have for you is going to be to take out anything in the room that doesn't belong. Now I'm not just talking about taking everything out, reorganizing it, and putting it back. I'm talking about looking at the things in your room and seeing if you have let anything make a home there that actually shouldn't. Anything that doesn't really belong in your bedroom. I was very guilty of this for a bunch of stuff that was underneath our bed or some things that I didn't know where their home was, so I made one in my room. And all it did was contribute to the clutter and the chaos and made for a bunch of junk, really. So I gave it all a new home and a proper home. So the second tip is pretty obvious, but it's to declutter and evaluate what you actually need. Now I'm very guilty of not liking to do this for a bunch of reasons, but you're about to see one of the biggest ones. So I had completely forgotten about this box and when I saw it, I did have to take a minute. This is actually all of my maternity clothes. And while we do have three children, our most recent pregnancy resulted in a miscarriage. And so seeing this brought back a lot of honestly painful memories. And I can't help but think that a lot of us tend to avoid decluttering or getting rid of things because of the memories that things can bring back. I didn't want to go through each and every piece here and decide if I should sell certain things or donate them or whatnot, so I just decided to donate the entire box and let someone else get some use out of them. taking a picture yeah okay you film 
<laughs> Let me see it. Tomorrow is the backyard. Oh gosh. What are you eating? Did you give her some of these Nutri-Grain? <laughs> So my third tip is to clean under and behind things, places you never see. I swear you can feel the dirt, you can feel the dust. And so pull the bed out, pull the nightstands out, pick up that rug, clean around it, under, behind it, all the things and get all of that clean. You can see how gross that sticky roll was when honestly, if you looked at the bed before, you wouldn't have been able to tell that much. And so um, the vacuuming and cleaning up all the stuff makes such a huge difference. What? You don't want me to vacuum? Yeah? Okay. So you're about to see me take everything out from under the bed. I'm going to use all of my first three tips. I'm going to decide if the things should actually be in our room, which a lot of them should not. I'm going to declutter and toss or donate anything that is really just done. And I'm going to clean underneath the bed and it was, it was a chore. But we're deciding to take our bed off of these risers for the first time in probably five years or so. And so it was going to make a big difference and I couldn't fit as much underneath as I was used to. So now we're starting the process of lowering the bed and we're going to move it to the opposite wall. I just felt like this would make a huge difference in our space and it really did, but it also prompted quite a few other changes. I 
really wish that I would have moved the camera and gotten the shot of when we actually put our bed into place. From here, it's going to look like everything fits nicely, but on that left side of the screen, there's actually the entrance to our master bathroom. And when we put both of the side tables and the bed on this wall, it only left us about a half a foot or so to get to the master bathroom. And so that wasn't going to work. So now we're just going to try to figure out what we can do to keep this bed on this wall because we both agreed we liked it. Just the way the light comes in the other window, we liked the bed here. But we're trying to figure out what in the world to do about the fact that now we can't get in our bathroom. We started having the conversation pretty quickly about the side tables and decided that they were pretty big and just a really big space where we were keeping clutter. We just shoved things inside of them and on top of them, so we decided we were going to get new side tables. So off to Marshalls we went. So Marshalls had a few good options and we actually found ones that we liked, but we wanted to check another store first before we purchased them. And that leads me to my fourth tip. Don't settle, wait for the right pieces that fit your space. Don't worry about the fact that you may not have a nightstand for a couple of weeks. Look for the right ones. If you just buy something to fill the space and it doesn't actually work, you're gonna end up donating it or hating it or I don't even know, but it's not gonna work out well. We had considered these nightstands, but they were a little on the pricey side, and I'm glad that we went with the ones that we did. We picked these up at Marshall's for just under $40 a piece, and they fit so perfectly on the side, and it doesn't give us a lot of room for a bunch of junk. So my fifth and final tip is all about your style. Consider your favorite color palette and move toward it. You do you. Now I like more neutral tones and kind of a muted color palette with a, a little bit of contrast here and there. But if you like bright jewel tones or you like spring colors or whatever it is that you like that is calming to you, make sure you go towards that. Now, I talked about us not spending a lot of money earlier, and this is one way that I did that. We had a blue comforter on our bed, which was beautiful, but again, I wanted to go with something more muted and neutral tones, so I took the duvet cover off of this insert and just used the insert for a while. Now, at the end of the video, you're going to see where we did add some things back in, but for now, all, the only thing we spent this day was buying the new nightstands. Everything else were things that I already had or that I had repurposed. So just a reminder of what we began this day with, and I really cannot believe the transformation that this was. And it didn't cost us a lot of money, like I said. It was just about decluttering and getting the things out that didn't belong. So this is our space. Now this is the first version of our space, so make sure you stay tuned. This is that first day, and I swear I slept better this night, because the entire room felt completely different. And here is our space today, a few weeks later, after I have changed a few things out and redecorated a little bit. I'm going to go through and tell you where everything is from in our calming master bedroom. So this rug is from Hobby Lobby and I got that half off. If you've never looked at their rugs, when they're 50% off, they're a great deal. 
Our dresser is actually an antique. It was my grandfather's and I repainted it and I love that. Even though it's a little bit small for us, I'll never get rid of it. This little corner is actually very functional. My husband can sit here and tie his boots in the morning. That chair is second hand. I got that at a yard sale and then the pillow is from Hobby Lobby as well. That vase is thrifted and those are actually my wedding flowers. They've made it 10 years. This little rocking chair thimble is from my grandmother's house. I used to play with it as a kid and when she passed away, it was the one thing that I wanted to take. And these other two items are thrifted as well. That's just a vintage um, piece of luggage and a throw. And then this is probably my favorite little group of pictures. That top picture is just an antique print from a, an antique shop. That picture there is my grandmother when she was young. It's just beautiful. And then that box is actually something that I repainted and added our wedding date to. There's our new side tables and our bed is from Wayfair. Our side lamps are actually from Walmart. This bedding is Hearth and Hand by Magnolia. And that pillow was from Home Goods. This throw is actually from Marshalls, and I really, really like it. It's got the fringe detail at the end, and it's super comfy. This tray is from Marshalls as well. And the few little bits on top are just kind of collected. The book there is one that I'm currently reading. It's not supposed to be this way by Lisa Turkhurst. And that is our other side table. And then this little um, metal shelf area was kind of a last minute thing but I love the way it looks it's very simple and I actually picked that shelf up at Ikea a few years ago for maybe less than $15 I'm not sure if they still carry it but I just keep my husband's hats on top and then we have a few things there I was going to put a plant in this um, urn here but my husband's been putting his belt in there and it's not left out so I don't mind it I, I'd like to keep it there on this shelf, I just have a piece of decor from the Target dollar spot along with a wicker basket that has some books in it and some journals, just things that I like to have access to easily in the mornings or in the evenings when I'm able to read. And on the bottom shelf, we just have our most worn shoes. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I ask that if you like this content, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed, that you would go ahead and do that and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I will see you all in my next one.